Now in this session we're going to have a look at how to share the digital whiteboard within Screenhaven. So let me launch Screenhaven here and we want to go into the publish window and under the share menu you now have the option here to share uh, not only things like the whole screen but further down here we have the whiteboard. So let's choose the whiteboard here now and what will happen is it will open up a new whiteboard window. The idea here is, here is that everything in this window will now be shared up to the cloud so that other people can see what's happening on there. So you can see that uh, at the moment uh, th this window is open. It's not resizable, it's a fixed size and what is displayed on this window is now appearing uh, in this uh, preview window here. Now, what can we do with this? The idea is, instead of sharing a bit of your desktop or a picture or anything like that, you can actually do some drawing. There are a few limited tools here. There are some colors and there are some line thickness. So, what you can do is, for example, if uh, by default it, it's on the pen drawing item here. Uh, so you can choose a particular color and you can draw what you want a series of, uh, you can just hold down the mouse and draw any particular object that you may want. Uh, that is drawing a, a series of uh, like fine dots uh, that, that, that would come out of a normal pen. So you can draw the dots as you would need. Uh, further up we have this object here which lets you do a thicker dot. So let me choose a different color here. So you may well choose to uh, draw lines together with that item. Again, further across here we have the line uh, um, tool. So if we choose a particular color, we can choose a start and just keep on drawing and there we've got a fine drawing. So you can see we've got a series of dots to a thicker uh, paint to eventually a fine line. Now each of these tools can be adjusted not only with the colors but always also with the line thicknesses. So if we choose a thicker line here, uh, any object that we draw will now be thicker as well. So you can see the, the, the dot's a bit thicker. Let me come here and draw the, the line there. It's a bit more obvious with the paintbrush uh, how much thicker it is. Again, if we drew with a line, uh, we'd see that that is actually a thicker line than the, than the previous line. Uh, in addition to these particular lines, uh, we also have uh, a few more tools. We have this one which is for drawing squares or rectangles. Now one difference with this one is that uh, you don't actually see it as it's drawing. So when you click and uh, draw out, it doesn't appear. But when you let go of the mouse, that's when the square or rectangle is going to appear. And again, the thickness is in proportion to the line here. So if I go and draw another one down here, there we go. You can see it's, it's a finer line. Now after a while this can get a bit uh, messy, uh, so there are uh, two things that uh, uh, that are left over. Now the um, it doesn't use the uh, uh, text tool, that may come in a later version but it's not there at the moment. The other two which are, are relevant is the paint tool which will set a background colour. So if for example you wanted a green background colour, you could click on there, choose the color green, and then click anywhere within the text here, and it'll now give you a background color, um, which you can then draw on top of with other colors. So you could now draw, uh, if you wanted it, a blue square on top of that. Okay, so that's the background tool. If you wanted to erase everything and start again, you can click on the eraser tool, and it'll come up and says, do you really want, do you really want to clean the whiteboard? If you say yes, it will then wipe it entirely clean. Now since it is, uh, if you've got the uh, sharing on, if the sharing has started, if you've got users chosen, then it will be sending these uh, your whiteboard images every 15 seconds or so uh, up to the server. So you will have copies up there uh, so that if you do go and wipe things out and start again and uh, people will see the progress of your drawing and be able to keep copies of them especially if you um, have it set to keep lots of copies on the server. 
Okay, um, to remove the whiteboard what we need to do is come along and choose another item. So if we come back to whole screen as opposed to whiteboard then the whiteboard will automatically disappear. In fact any of them if you choose anything other than whiteboard the whiteboard will automatically close down. So that's how we use the digital whiteboard um, using uh, Screenhaven to, uh, to put whatever we draw on the whiteboard up onto the cloud for others to view. I hope you find that useful. Thank you and goodbye.